Michigan Department of Natural Resources Salmon in the Classroom program. Today, we're going to learn about how you can set up your tank to make sure you have a successful year with raising salmon in your classroom. For more information about the program, please go to our website at michigan.gov SIC. Let's get started. Information on how to set up your tank can be found in your Salmon in the Classroom manual under the section labeled How to Succeed, which begins on page 15. Next, you'll want to fill your tank with water using either a bucket or a hose. If you're using a municipal water supply or chlorinated water, this is when you should add your water conditioner. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions. Now it's time to put together and install your filter system. Remember, your system might be a little bit different than ours. This is the bio wheel. It goes here. This will rotate and accumulate beneficial bacteria that's good for your fish. Eventually, it will rotate only every so often. Don't worry, that's normal. These are your filter cartridges. Make sure the blue part is facing back when you install it. This is where they go. These filters will remove excess gases out of the water once the fish begin producing waste. This is the impeller. It goes here. The impeller is what pulls water into your filter from the tank. You will only need to access this during filter maintenance. This is the intake valve. It goes here on top of the impeller. Place the filter onto your tank with the intake valve inside the tank and the rest of it hanging on the back, like this. Be sure you fill your filter with water prior to plugging it in. This is very important. If you plug the filter in without any water, you could burn out the motor. Your coil chiller rests on the back of your tank just like your filter. Remember, adjust the chiller to the appropriate temperature. The chiller may be set to Celsius, so remember to convert it to Fahrenheit or make up for it when you set the temperature. You'll want to set it to 47 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 8.4 degrees Celsius. Next, add your thermometer. Placement of your thermometer is important. In order to make sure that your chiller is working properly, it's recommended that you place your thermometer at the opposite end of the tank from your chiller. You will now put together your air pump and air stone. For this, you will need airline tubing, a check air valve, air stone, air pump, and scissors. With the air pump on the floor or under the tank stand, it's now time to attach the tubing. Next, you want to cut the tubing about halfway up. Attach the check air valve on one end, then on the other. Make sure the check air valve is not in the water. It's important to use this valve to reduce the risk of fire that can result if a short circuit occurs. Next, plug it in and watch the bubbles. Your fish will be very happy with all the oxygen they're getting. Next, it's time to put the tops on, then the lights. job! You're now ready to get salmon for your tank. Remember, you need to do this at least two weeks prior to receiving your eggs to ensure that everything's working properly and your salmon will have the best chance of success. Good luck with salmon in your classroom. <laughs>